ask yourself before you buy an RV. Before anyone starts looking at RVs, they should ask themselves the following questions. Once they have been answered, please read on for our article, which RV is right for me? <clears throat> what type of camping do I want to do? Do you want to lay under the open sky at night and view the stars? Or do you want to watch TV from your king size bed? Will I be traveling each day or will I be parking my RV and traveling in another vehicle each day? How many people, pets, will I travel with? Do I have a truck to use? What is my budget? Who's going to be driving? Which type of RV is right for you? Find out which kind of RV is right for you with the help from the official Campanda guide to the different RV types and classes. In this article, we'll cover the similarities and differences between Class A, B, and C vehicles, as well as camper vans, fifth wheels, travel trailers, truck campers, toy haulers, and pop-up campers. Keep reading to discover which type of RV is the best fit for you and your family. Motorized versus towable RVs. There are two broad categories of RVs, motorized and towable. Motorized RVs, AKA motorhomes, have engines. A motorized RV offers all living and driving functions under one roof without the hassle of hitching and unhitching the vehicle at camp. Since the engine and living quarters are located in a single vehicle, driving a motorhome can often feel more comfortable for first time drivers who may not be used to turning and maneuvering with another vehicle in tow. There are four popular types of motorized RVs, Class A motorhomes, Class B motorhomes, Class C motorhomes, and camper vans. Although they all belong to the same category of RV, the classes vary dramatically from one, an one another. We'll cover each of them in detail now. Motorhomes. The most common of the motorized RVs, the Class A motorhomes, are built on heavy duty frames, either a specially designed ch chassis or an existing commercial bus or truck chassis. These RVs are the largest of the lot. They range between 21 and 45 feet and weigh in excess of 20,000 pounds and are exceptionally spacious with living spaces and sleeping accommodations for up to 10 people. Many have separate master bedroom suites and slide out sections or basements for extra storage. Laundry machines, full bath facilities, full size refrigerators, freezers, outside shower facilities are just a few of the treats from the Class A motorhome can include. The size of your typical Class A can be intimidating for new and experienced RVers like. Maneuvering these vehicles through narrow and twisting roads can be hazardous and parking can be a pain. Many people tow their family car along to give them greater mobility once they reach their destination. These vehicles can also be expensive. In addition to higher initial costs, a Class A is generally more costly to repair, insure, and fuel than smaller RVs. However, if you're planning to spend a lot of time in your motorhome, you can't get more luxurious or comfortable than a Class A with all the bells and whistles. Pros large and luxurious living areas, lots of storage, tons of amenities, a true home on wheels, good for long-term living. Cons, expensive to buy, repair, insure, and fuel, fuel, less maneuverable on the road, size can be intimidating for new RVers, may require towing a smaller vehicle for day trips and errands, and some states may require a special li license for the largest RVs. motorhomes. Class Bs are also called camper vans or van campers and are good and for a good reason. Typically built on a standard van cha chassis with a raised roof for upright walking upright, these smaller RVs look and drive much like a van and are typically more affordable to maintain and fuel than their larger counterparts. Class Bs are some of the easiest RVs to drive because of their compact size, there's no need to tow an extra vehicle behind. As these RVs are perfect for day trips, weekend getaways, and spontaneous travelers. These RVs typically offer a queen size bed or a convertible dinette area, small kitchen, 
storage space, and a wet bath, a combined shower toilet, sink toilet, although many technically sleep up to four, after two people at Class B can start to feel a bit too cozy. More affordable to fuel and repair, easy to drive, convenient for day trips and errands. Cons, can be expensive to buy, restricted, li restricted living space, limited storage, and fewer amenities. Homes. Class C's combine the best features of both Class A's and B's into one versatile and relatively affordable mid-sized mid motorhome. These RVs are built on existing truck or van chassis and typically range in size from 20 to 33 feet. Sometimes called mini motorhomes, Class C's are smaller than Class A's but offer many of the same amenities, including ample sleeping quarters and storage. Class C's are also more agile and maneuverable than their larger cousins, although not quite as easy to drive as the Class B. Many owners end up towing the family car along to make errands and excursions easier once they reach their destination. The initial cost of a Class C vehicle is often less than a Class B, despite offering more amenities. However, the fuel and maintenance costs tend to be higher, though not as high as a Class A. This type of RV is an excellent option for families or travelers on a budget. Because they offer a full range of amenities, Class C's are also popular with frugal full-time RVers. Pros, large living and sleeping areas, extra storage or sleeping area above driver's cab, fully equipped with all basic amenities, less expensive than Class A's and even some Class B's, more maneuverable than Class A. Cons, driving can be a challenge for new RVers, still costly to maintain, repair, and fuel may require towing a smaller vehicle for day trips and errands. Yeah. Towable RVs, AKA trailers, require a tow vehicle to get from one place to from one from place to place. The size of a car or truck required depends on the size and weight of the towable vehicle. Towable RVs are often cheaper than their motorized counterparts and the lack of a motor means there's no engine trouble to worry about, at least in the RV. And once you reach your destination, you can simply unhitch the trailer and explore the surrounding area in your tow vehicle, usually your family car. There are five types of towable RVs to choose from. Fifth wheel trailers, travel trailers, sport utility trailers, truck campers, and pop-up or fold-down campers. Let's take a closer look at the different kinds of RVs. Fifth wheel of trailers. Fifth wheel of trailers are the largest and most luxurious of the towable RVs. Accordingly, they are also the most expensive. Because of their size, these trailers, which can range from 20 to 40 feet in length, must be towed by a large pickup truck or conversion vehicle. A fifth wheel connects to the tow vehicle via a gooseneck extension, which extends over the back of the towing truck feature provides a stronger and more maneuverable connection than ball hitches. The lack of a cockpit opens up valuable space and fifth wheel trailers are, as a rule, very spacious. Fifth, wheeler, fifth wheels typically include full-size kitchens and baths, ample storage, and sleeping accommodations for up to eight people. Slide-outs offer additional interior space, and the gooseneck allows for a feature otherwise rare in RVs, multiple living levels. It's important to note that even though fifth wheels can accommodate up to eight people, the same can rarely be said of the trucks they used to haul them. It is generally illegal to ride in a towable RV while in motion, so you'll need to consider passenger space in your towing vehicle to avoid feeling cramped on long journeys. Pros, spacious living quarters and storage space, full of amenities and conveniences, secure and maneuverable con connection via gooseneck, can be unhitched, to free up towing vehicle for errands and excursions. Affordable compared to similarly sized motor, motorized vehicles, motorized RVs. Cons, require a large towing vehicle, limited passenger space during travel, and can be intimidating to drive. Travel trailers. Travel trailers come in all shapes and sizes, from the tiniest four foot teardrops 
to 35 foot bottles with room for up to eight people. The range of amenities and, and floor plans varies widely. Larger models can be fully equipped with multiple bedrooms, spacious kitchens, and full baths. The smallest travel trailers may simply offer sleeping space for one or two for one or two people, plus some modest cooking facilities. Travel trailers connect with a standard ball hitch receiver and can be towed by any vehicle rated to handle their weight capacity, meaning there's an appropriately sized travel trailer for every family car. As with fifth wheels, it is generally illegal to ride in a conventional travel trailer while in motion, so you'll want a, you'll want a roomy passenger vehicle for the drive. Maneuvering can also be tricky, Reversing with a trailer attached is challenging, even for the most experienced drivers, and tail swing can become an issue with larger model models. Pros. Many different sizes and floor plans are available. Can be towed with a variety of vehicles. Affordable, compared to similarly sized motorized RVs. Can be unhitched to free up towing the truck for errands and excursions. Cons. Driving in reverse is difficult to impossible. Tail swing can be an issue with larger trailers, limited passenger space during travel, and smaller trailers offer limited amenities. SUTs, commonly called toy haulers, are relatively newcomers to the RV marketplace. These RVs were designed to allow to auto outdoor enthusiasts to transport their jet skis, their motorcycles, ATVs, etc., more easily. Typically 20 to 35 feet in length, toy haulers are divided into two sections, a rear section with a pull-down ramp and a front section with living quarters. Most toy haulers owners use the rear cargo area as originally intended, as a portable garage for the motorized toys, which you can easily convert the space into additional storage or even a home office. These RVs come with the same counterparts, namely poor maneuverability, tail swing, and limited passenger space during travel. However, they are an excellent option for RVers looking to bring their motorized sports vehicles on vacation. Pros, easily transport cargo, convenient dual functionality, living area can be fully equipped with all necessary amenities, Cons, limited passenger space during travel. Driving in reverse is difficult to impossible. Driver must be aware of tail sitting, swing, less livable interior space compared to similar size RVs, unless cargo area is converted. Truck. Economical and easy to drive truck campers, sometimes called slide-ins or cab-overs, are made by attaching a hard-sided camper shell to an ordinary pickup truck. Yep, like the one in your driveway. Truck campers typically sleep two to four passengers and offer small cooking, dining, storage, and bath facilities, even though the overall size may only be slightly longer than your standard pickup. These RVs are perfect for weekend warriors, spontaneous travelers, and outdoorsy types who favor flexibility, drivability, and affordability over luxury amenities. Pros affordable to buy, insure, and repair, easy to drive and manure, great for off-roading, a good go-anywhere to vehicle. Removable shell means you can continue to use your truck as normal. Cons, tight living quarters, very limited amenities, must have specific truck model to match camper. Pop-up campers, also called fold-down campers or tent trailers, are the transformers of the RV world. These compact trailers feature extendable side sections that are foldable, that are folded away during transport, during travel for easy transport. The hard body central section of the camper usually contains basic kitchen and bathroom facilities, while the tented sides convert into sleeping areas for up to six people. Due to their design, pop-ups are much better suited for the occasional camping trip than they are for long-term living. There is a minimal storage available. The tent style side sections are oft often offer limited protection from extreme elements. Lightweight and easy to maneuver, pop-ups can be stowed by any 
ordinary passenger vehicles like an SUV, minivan, or full-size sedan via a ball hitch receiver. Families looking to upgrade their camping experience from the usual tent and sleeping bag affair. They're also great starter RVs for campers who are just wanting, just starting to embrace the real RV life. Pros, easy to maneuver, lightweight, and can be towed by most full-size passenger vehicles. Inexpensive to buy and own. Cons, limited living space, little to no storage, not suited for extreme weather, canvas size susceptible to wear and tear. What kind of RV is, right, is ideal for you? Buying an RV is a big decision. We hope you have found this to be helpful in your decision making. If you still have questions about which type of RV is best for you, feel free to ask Ross Forey, 916-204-8000. He can help you with your decision and can probably find the right RV for you within a day or two. Hope you've enjoyed your presentation. Thank you very much.